my loves welcome back to my channel i am the one and only tyla amore if you are new here hey miss mamas don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay as you read by the title we are doing a perfume haul and this is the perfumes that i got over time so i didn't get this at one set and i just want to put this out there um but this is stuff i got at in the last couple months or the last couple weeks or gifts and stuff like that so i just wanted to show you guys people been asking me um for this perfume haul i've seen people in the comments saying that and on instagram and stuff like that so the ones that was talking baby come to the front the girls in the back come to the front come watch this video <laughs> anyway if you are interested in watching this video please just keep watching so as you see you see my setup do y'all like my setup it's so cute right um, but first perfume that we are going to be doing, I have my iPad um, that I'm going to be talking off of, just like my keynotes and stuff that I have. So, because I don't remember everything and I'm not even going to try to, so just bear with me. Um, but the first thing that we have, as you can see on the screen, my Burberry perfume. Um, so this perfume, the keynote is Sweet Pea. So um, this is inspired by the trench coat and its heritage of British design and craftsmanship. So my Burberry, my Burberry captures the fragrance of London garden after the rain. The scent is a British garden floral. It's a heart of rose worn with an unexpected touch of sweet pea. This is somebody that it doesn't have musk in here. It's surprisingly everything that you would pretty much see, like a lot of perfumes have musk in them, right? But this one does not. So that's what I'm really surprised about. Um, but I love this bottle. The, the bottle, look at the bottle. The bottle is phenomenal. I love how it has like the details on the top of the bottle. Um, I'm a nude type of girl, a neutral type of girl. So this is honestly by far one of the best bottles that I have one up here. So she has the notes on the, the side. Um, just showing like the ingredient, ingredients that's in there. Um, and everything so you can definitely see that on the screen as well um, but she runs for this size bottle she's about $108 so on the Macy's website she's about $108 and it's a sale going on right now so if you love this perfume baby and you've been thinking like hmm should I get it you definitely should and go ahead and get it now because I don't know when that sale is over with or if that's just like a sale that's going on for the holidays or something but this is something that you can also get um your woman if you're a man watching or you can get your mom your sister another woman whatever this is a great gift to have this week i'm going to be talking about zara evan woods now kyra put the girls on to this she put the girls on to this perfume when i say this perfume is it it's it and it's only 20 dollars. this size bottle runs you about 20 dollars plus shipping if you don't want to go into zara store it's about 26 dollars. so i definitely recommend this this is like a woody um type of scent it's very strong right vibration with joe malone um but it has a witty red berry red berry scent in here so this is something that uh, that's good for like a base or something um and it's actually i actually wear this with every single day as you can see it's almost done but i i got this bottle because i wanted to test it out but you need to get it you need to get the big bottle too um i wear this with Godosha and gabbana only one these two sits together, I get so many compliments together. Um, this is strong. This is saying, like, I'm powerful, I'm here, but I'm also feminine. So I'm a strong feminine woman, right? That's what this is giving. I actually got this in a travel set. I don't have the small one, but I can put it on the screen. You'll see it um, with me. Um, but this, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Unfortunately, it does not have the notes on here. And this is just how the bottle looks. I love how clean and sleek the bottle looks. It's very minimalistic. Um, I love it. She is a floral, warm, spicy scent. Um, she has coffee in there. She has vanilla in there, which I definitely smell. This is something that you can also get um, someone that's like my age or something. If you're shopping for your sister, whoever you're shopping for, all of these gifts are something that you can always get. Um, someone for a birthday or Christmas, which is going on right now, um, I would definitely purchase whatever one um, for, you know, family member. And then also, it's going to be in the description box of the links and stuff, just in case that you do decide to go ahead and shop 
and get someone um, a gift. Spicy. She a little spicy with it. She a little spicy with it. We love her. Together, sensational. This is it's crazy because you can see that this is almost gone. Baby, this is something I got myself um, when I first started my perfume collection. This is my first one. And I just love how like it takes off like this. Like that's so cute, baby. I need some more. <laughs> I need some more like let's talk about it because even when i have this perfume on i get a lot of compliments from men so if you're single you want to be out there and you want men to notice you well, along with your beautiful looks because i'm sure you're beautiful baby put this perfume on you gonna know i'm here i'm i'm flirty she's a little flirty with it you know i wear this and this is a daytime scent i mean you can really wear whatever you want to but me my preference this is a daytime scent um they actually have the Prada Candy Night version. So this is something that you can wear on a date when you went out with your man or your girls and you want to be seen from a man or whatever. You know, hey, night. Wear this one. But this is something that you want to like a brunch. You want to brunch with your girls. You put this one on, sis. You put this one on and it's still flirty. Actually, whether it's like with a flirty type of hairstyle or look or whatever, she's real cute. It's warm and spicy as well. So she has white musk in here. Full femininity type of scent. It's delighting and sparkling pop. Um, tropical heat. So this is like a summer scent as well. Um, you can really wear whatever you want to. It's what you want to do. You know what I mean? So who going to check you? Who really going to check you about what you're wearing on your sense of stuff? As long as you look good and you smell good, nobody cares. <laughs> so right into Prada Candy Night. And I'm sorry, I didn't tell you guys, this runs you about $76 on the Ode to Beauty website, but I'm sure you can get it somewhere cheaper. I know I got it off of Rebel Set. I went to Ode to Beauty because I'm looking at the note, but Rebel Set is probably like $40 or $50 for this bottle. Um, I would definitely go there. They got some afterpay, so I know things are like kind of tight for everybody with COVID situation going on. So you can definitely afterpay any of these items um, on whatever uh, website you go on, which is another thing. So save a coin, sis. And right with me having like 10% off uh, your first order. So if you're new there, like you can always use that as well. We always love to save a coin. Be a material girl at a cheaper price. You know what I'm saying? A floral scent as well. Um, but she is bold. So this is like a bold type of floral scent. Um, this is somebody that's kind of flirtatious. She want to be seen, but she stepped in in her feminine energy, right? Kind of rich. This is a rich scent. Uh, whenever you think of Prada, I'm pretty sure you think of luxurious anyway, right? Bittersweet. So it blends together with the bitter orange. Like everything blends together. Let me go ahead and check this one out. It's crazy because these three, the Prada Candy Regular, the Prada Candy Night, and the Marc Jacobs was my first three perfumes that I got myself. And I got them all off of Rebel Set. And I believe I spent like a hundred and something dollars for all three of them maybe like 150 or something like that for all three of them which is honestly not a good not a bad price especially for Prada that's a good price um so going right into the next perfume we have the Marc Jacobs Daisy now this bottle is so pretty I love how it has like the three flowers small medium large like it's just so pretty I love it this is something that's like a floral scent um but she's strong She's strong. Uh, I tried to, child, when I first started wearing, <laughs> oh, I did something so slow. When I first started wearing <laughs> perfume or luxurious, as you could say, perfume, maybe I paired this with Prada. Why would I do something like that? I don't know. I was just trying something and I shouldn't have did it. Why would I pair something that's so strong with another strong perfume? What? Like, what? No. You. I don't feel like this should be paired with um Prada. Now I don't know which if you guys will pair this with something or if it's wear by itself. Let me know in the comments because baby, I feel like this should be wore by wore by itself. Not at all with nothing else. So this bottle right here, like I said, I got it off of Rebel Sim, but it runs you about from beauty un Ulta Beauty like $86. Um but I believe this is on sale as well. It's bright it's flirtatious. Um nothing too serious really just flirty. She's flirty okay she wants to flirt. She don't want to be serious with you. 
So, um, that's what this type of. So, going into the next scent, this is Daisy Love. So, similar bottle. The only thing is, the only thing that's similar about them is the resin flower. Maybe they're like the same pricing, um, as far as like the price goes. Um, but she's a floral scent as well. The only difference between this one and this one is she has musk. She has bust as the base, and this one has sandalwood as the base, okay? So, she's floral. She's sweet. Um, she's topped with cloudberries. Um, she has the daisy tree petals in here, okay? So, this is sort of someone like this, like, um, that flows with the air, that's radiant with florals, um, sparkling garments, twists, the evoke of the bliss of watching the sun reflect on the ocean under blue skies, right? So, this is somebody that's just like free spirit that goes with the flow of things, right? Um, that's what this scent is for. And she smells good. Like she smells so free and everything. Like it's, everything about this bottle is just perfectly made. Like perfectly made. I love it. Um, so I'll show you guys close up as how the bottle looks. I'm not for sure if you're familiar with that bottle, but that's how it looks. So if you are interested in getting Martha Jacobs, you can definitely get this, these two. Now, I really want to try the perfect. So, if you guys have perfect, please let me know in the comments how it smells. I don't want to try that. And I'm mad that, that they also um, discontinue honey. My mom used to wear that growing up. When I said she used to smell so good with that perfume, I loved it. I was actually just talking about it with her a couple of days ago. Like, Ma, what is that perfume you used, to, you used to wear? She was like, oh, it's discontinued. I was like, wow, because I wanted to get it. But the bottle is because it's discontinued, you know, they upped the price. And it's like a hundred and something dollars. I'm like, I might have to do it another time, you know. <laughs> it's cool, though. So going right into the next bottle, we have the Juicy Couture. Now, I feel like this is a perfume I kind of grew up on because I feel like my era came from Juicy Couture and everything. And baby, Juicy Couture is back in action. Like everybody's rocking the Juicy Couture, the tight um, little, you know, jackets with the little, um, the pants or whatever. I don't know the material, so don't don't talk about me. But everybody's kind of bringing Juicy Couture look back into play, right? And this bottle, it says, it's like so girly. It's so flirty. I love it. I love like the little details right here, the little bow, the little you know crystal top that's so pretty right only that this bottle is about sixty dollars on ulta beauty which is actually a really good price especially with all the details that come with this bottle i love the price um so this is like a warm sweet sweet scent this is like a teenager type of scent i feel like i don't know it's it smells it's something that's kind of like reminds me of a teenager scent right but a little i guess yeah it's something i could wear as a teenager um, this is a caramel scent. I definitely smell the caramel. Uh, Mandarin and Gardena. That's what that's what I'm saying. It's actually funny because in the notes it says playful. And that's exactly what I think of when I see this bottle. I think of a playful energy um, surrounding this bottle. It has a creamy vanilla caramel and sensational amber. So if this is somebody that, you know, that's probably like maybe 19, 20, whatever age you want to be. If you want to be playful, baby. Put this perfume on. You're going to smell very playful. You're going to smell sensational, a little flirty, but more playful than flirty. So going right into the next bottle, we have the YSL. Baby, when I think of YSL, I think of, I'm that girl. Baby, when I got that YSL on, I'm that girl, okay? This one has um, a floral, fruity scent as well. So kind of similar, but not as well. We're going into floral, but fruity type of scent, right? Um, but it has red, berry, red berries in here, white musk. Um, this is something I feel like kind of lasts all day. Um, this is definitely a, more of a little um, pricey as far as like the bottle. It's probably like $140 or something like that. Um, but it's everything like as far as like the price, like I said, and the links and stuff is going to be linked at the um, in the description box. So do not forget that. The bottle is so pretty. It's so sleek. I love the ribbon because, you know, like I said, with this ribbon as well, I really like that. Um, but it's kind of minimalistic. So they did something, but it's, they still didn't do overdo it with the bottle, right? So I love that. So if you're somebody that likes a floral sweet scent, but still kind of musky, this is you. This is you. And I don't know if you guys have this or was thinking like, should I even get this bottle? Baby, you should get it. 
everything that I'm telling you about, you should definitely check out. Or if you don't have, like, you should definitely get it for you, your mama, your sister. On into the next bottle, we have the Gucci Guilty. Baby, <laughs> do you see this bottle? <laughs> it's giving <laughs> a luxurious, for sure. It's definitely give that, giving that. And just look at the details. If you have this, then you and I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but as far as pricing goes, this is about sixty-five dollars on the Ulta Beauty website. I'm going off of Ulta Beauty because maybe that's the first thing I saw. So it might be it varies, but if it's a little pricier, just go to Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty feel like it's it's just giving. It's gonna be a little affordable, right? I don't know if it's sixty-five or eighty-five. I don't really know the size. It's okay. It's okay. You just go on there and get you the stash you want. Okay. <laughs> so it's floral, but it's an amber floor as well. Um, it's a pink pepper. And this is a scent that's like it's a maculate magic, it's a maculate magical floral scent, right? So this is a scent that's warm but it's graceful. It's it's like elegant but graceful, right? So this is a scent that if you just kind of want to wear you know, go to whatever you, where are you going, baby? I honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. I wear scents on depending on my mood. So if I want to be loud today, I'll put this on. This is a scent that's kind of loud. People gonna know like, oh, she got that on. She she got this on. So if you want to be kind of loud, you get you Gucci. You get you some Gucci. Gucci is kind of loud. It's expensive. So one into the next one, we have the white tea. This is Elizabeth Arden white tea. This bottle is so pretty. I love how it fades. It fades into um, the white. Like that's so pretty when the white fades into the uh, clear. I just like how minimalistic it is. You don't really have to do too much with this bottle. Um, but I'm sorry, y'all. Who texted me? Don't make it that. <laughs> um, but this is a warm floral scent. Um, she's She has lemon in there. She has white tea. Hint white tea. Gardenia. Um dewy jasmine vanilla orchid um vanilla essence almond Ar amber wood musk she has musk in here so she got a lot of energy she got actually she got a lot more ingredients in here than a lot of these bottles anyway so this is this i feel like this is a fragrance that's not doing too much this is something i feel like i would kind of wear if I'm going to run errands or something, I'm going to put this on and keep it pushing. I wouldn't really do too much. Or if I'm going to sleep, i kind of put this on because it's kind of sweet. So next we have the Chloe perfume. Now this perfume, I just love it. It's ripping on here. That's so cute. $105 on Ulta Beauty. It's not on sale, but I'm not sure if you can find it on sale somewhere else. Um, but this is about $105. So we're getting into the little more pricier perfumes. I mean, we kind of been a minute, right? With the white cell and Gucci. Anyway, <laughs> this one is a floral scent as well. So this is a powdery floral. So this is something that's kind of creative, confident. She's, she knows her individuality. She's fresh, but she's kind of feminine, right? This is um, Free Spirit and Chic. Amber in it, it has honey, it has rose, bleach in here. I think that's how you say it, I'm sorry. <laughs> but she's, she's cute. She's expensive. Oh, baby, she's loud. She's loud. When I, when I smell this, this is loud. But it's still, like I said, free spirit. So if you're somebody that's kind of powerful to perfume, we have the Miu Miu. So I believe this is a newer perfume. I feel like it's newer. I'm not really sure. Um, but this is something I bought around you about $110 on the Miu Miu website. And I haven't worn it yet. So I'm just going to read you. <clears throat> what the notes is giving because i actually want to know myself so it has apple blossom in there it has mandarin in there a pink amber um this is a brighter sequel to the original story told with the the singular freshness um get airy notes of mandarin and apple blossom. we are doing the burberry heart now i have the roller um addition so i know that roller sometimes is always good because it lasts longer so if you have a roller perfume and it lasts longer let me know too let me know the tea uh, and i also seen on tiktok if you put vaseline where you're about to put your fragrance it lasts longer too i haven't i haven't did that 
but I will be letting you guys know in the next vlog or something and how it went or showing you all. Um, but red and dark berries in here as well. Um, it's a floral scent, but it's a sensational, sensational musk amber scent. So this is something that's adventurous. If you're adventurous, this is something you will be able to get bold. Baby, when I got on her, what's up? <laughs> you see me? I'm bold. I'm bold when I have this perfume on, but it's vibrant, it's fruity. So this perfume probably runs you about like $30 or something like that. Her fruity, capturing spirit of London. I love that for me. So I haven't tried this yet, but if you have this, baby, you that girl, you bold. So which is why you got it. These are all my perfumes, again. So if you guys loved my perfume all, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe subscribe to you girl and it's moon i hope i did good but i hope you guys and really enjoyed the video and i hope it was informative for you guys about the perfume that you should be getting or that you know they wanted to consider to buy from a loved one or whatever because it is christmas so this is my quote-unquote vlogmas um video but i won't be doing vlogmas so please i'll probably do vlogmas another time but we'll talk about that in another video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys